Hi, welcome to the, this video on how to send uh, to Facebook Messenger from the One API. I've already set up a Facebook page here, branch, and you can find out how to do that yourself in our docs in the Get Started section under the Channel Setup Facebook Messenger page. Uh, here you'll find out how to get opt-ins using the messages and send to messenger controls as well as configure everything else from messenger codes to set it up in the Comappy portal. We're going to be using Postman today to do the API calls. This is a great free tool available from uh, www.getpostman.com. Alright, so let's get to it. Right, we're going to set up a post request. And we'll flip back to the docs. And we're going to get uh, from the reference section the URL for sending a single message using the one API. That's here. I'll just copy that and paste it in. We need to replace the API space ID because the one API is a RESTful API. So let's go into the Comappy portal and go to the platform configuration section, API space details. We can grab the API, API space ID here. Copy that and paste. Okay, so that's the URL set up. So let's go to the HTTP headers and we need to add our authentication header uh, to allow the API to authenticate us. Uh, so we add an authorization header and we use JWT, so we're gonna need a bearer. Now we need the actual token itself. So we'll go back to the Comappy portal into platform configuration integration. We're going to create a new token. I'm going to give it a name so we can remember what we used it for. So my demo token. Next, the profile ID is just a virtual ID for the uh, user sending. And we're going to select on the pre-made templates, one API access, all channels plus branch. And uh, let's save that. All right, let's copy that token and Make sure you store that somewhere safe because this is the only time we see it for security reasons. And let's paste that in there. That's our completed HTTP headers. So now for the body. We're going to pick raw and we're also going to pick JSON. That's our JSON based API. Now we need a body for one API send. So we're going to go back to the documentation. I'm going to go to the reference section and we're going to go to one API channels, Facebook. As we scroll down here, you can see it covers off all of the information you might need about the Facebook channel, including how to uh, add controls to your page. And here's some examples of the requests. We've got sending using a profile ID, phone number matching, Facebook ID, and using multiple methods. We're gonna go back to profile ID. And I copy that and paste that in. And the only thing I need to change is the profile ID. And my particular user is joeblogs at atme.com. He's already opted in for Facebook sends. So now all I need to do is actually send. There we go. So the request has been sent. It's just appeared on the right on my phone, as you can see. And importantly, in the response, you can see the message ID. You're going to need this if you need to call the API to get status updates, etc. at a later date, or use webhooks. Just open up that on Facebook Messenger, and as you can see, there's the message we sent. It really is as easy as that to send to Facebook Messenger using the Comappy One API.